did not clear an interview because of these two important questions which you don't know the answer questions are simple if you have a single bot that is already running in production and if you want to make it as a multi-bot architecture or if you want to run the same bot into multiple machines how will you do that what are the problems that you will face and how will you correct now the simple answer someone can give is if it is developed with re framework using q concept then things will be easier and automations can be executed in multiple machines but there is a better way to answer this you need to divide the question into two different segments one using the coding differences or the implementations that you need to make to have any code changes and also you need to see about the infrastructure as well as the licensing component now if you answer about these two then the way how an interviewer sees you or the perspective how an interviewer sees you will be much better now when you are trying to write a code obviously you are using if you are using an re framework you might be using queues now when you are using queues and if you have a dispatcher within the process itself now how will you avoid updating duplicate items to the queue this is also important to understand if there is a unique queue reference available within your queue if it is not available then how are you going to make sure that the items are not getting duplicated second if there are any files that are available that uses a shared location now if the same bot is trying to access the single shared location is there already a code that is available to handle this lock scenario and one more important question that you should ask while making these changes there might be logins within your automation now if the same application is getting used within different bots will it throw an error or does the application support multi-login at the same time and if it doesn't support how are you handling it now do you have assets with machine level orchestrator machine level settings or assets with which are mapped to machines or usernames are they mapped properly or not do you have the usernames or not let's say that for user account one or bot one you might be using user one and password one for bot 2 you need to use user 2 and password 2 do you have those differentiated credentials and have you mapped them to orchestrator or not let's assume that an item is getting processed and all of a sudden there is a system exception from one bot now if it goes back to the orchestrator as a new item or with a retry can the second bot continue from where task one or bot one have completed for example bot there are four tasks in the process task one task two task three task four bot completed or bot one completed task one task two and it stopped if second bot picks up the same queue item which came as a retry can it continue from task three and four instead of starting again from task one and task two and is there already code written to work on this now let's check with the infrastructure as well as the licensing questions that you need to ask when making these changes or making a single bot into multi bot now there can be a question like is multi bot converting a single process into dispatcher performer or the ability to run a single process into multiple machines multi bot architecture to my understanding can be both if it is divided into dispatcher and performer and also can this dispatch and performer run on multiple machines we need to see all these scenario now we can easily say that we will run the bot in multiple machines but do we have the licenses required for those automations let's say bot one we have only one unattended license you cannot use bot two for the second unattended license which you don't have it's best to make sure or to know how many licenses you have in your organization along with that do you also have multiple machines for which you can allocate these license last two points can be checking with the reporting component how are you maintaining the reporting component to avoid duplicate reporting for the same item by different bots and how are you able to handle the exception now there are multiple points that i have mentioned in this answer at least if you can answer three to four points for the interviewer then there is a better chance that he can understand your 
capability and skill set within RPA platform or with UiPath. All the best.